the the, the brand top deck there actually might have just saved us the game which is kind of awesome uh makes me pretty happy hello snuggle bugs welcome to today's video we're trying out the spooky mage a uh, little different than the xl mage with sire denathrius we're just honestly uh not looking to play that uh for a while here it's just in everything and yeah that's all i'll say about that for now and we also didn't really want to play the, the typical we're just going to freeze you over and over and over again with the parrots and the blizzards so here's the deck list we're going with today it's a smaller version uh basically just by removing the renathal and that you know overall freeze package and the denathrius and, and honestly even theatire which maybe is a bad thing because then we can't counter our opponent uh, but I just thought we'd go just a classic, here's our plan, and that's what we're going to go for and uh, see if it works. And I guess let's go hop into it. Alrighty, and it looks like our first game is against a druid. Hmm, classic. A little classic ghost dragon. Ooh, Kel'Thuzad in her opening hand. Probably not going to be useful for a while, but we can, we can dream. Play a little Shivering Sorceress. Let's go. Okay, Trog, Coin... Living Roots, okay. As much as I'd almost hate to use the Frozen Touch like this. Well, wow. If this hits Frozen Touch, I'll have to use it. It did. Yeah, I think... I don't know if this is smart, but I'm going with it. I'm going to try it. Keep their Trog clean. I need to be able to use the Arcane Intellect. This is an aggro druid, though, so I'm kind of wondering if keeping that to get the value out of it would have been the way to go. I mean, if they want to take four damage in two turns or whatever to, to do that. I mean, I can actually freeze them so they can't. Let's do it. Get, hmm, like eight damage with Shivering Sorceress? Yeah. That'll be pretty good. Aggro Druid. Okay, Slither Spear. Ooh, I can't even... Can't even kill that. <laughs> uh, Arcane. We can freeze it. I guess, which is pretty good. And then we'll ping it. There we go. Um, again, maybe the freezes would have came in more important later, but you know, we're going to try to keep our stuff alive as best as humanly possible. Oof, nope, still can't deal with that now. All right. Uh, Multicaster will only draw me one card unless I top deck Wildfire here. Top deck the Wildfire. Oof, putting all their eggs in a single basket. Um, even top decking, I was going to say Nightcloak Sanctum wouldn't be too bad. Frostweave? I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can just try to keep this frozen now. We have a bunch of these little 1-1 oh, one, one things that I can do that with over the next several turns. Only thing is, it has Taunt, so just keeping it frozen will not actually be enough. We will need to deal with it eventually. Sure. I mean, buffing its attack is sort of irrelevant right now. If they could have attacked me, of course, that would have been annoying to deal with, but luckily they cannot. Hmm. Okay. Pride's Fury. Well, there's Wildfire. And as much as I'd love to ping, we're going to play the Multicaster. Okay. Ooh, okay. Reckless Apprentice is really good. I kind of forgot I played the Arcane spell as well. So this could come in handy for us later. I think for now, we're just going to leave everything up. Right? So next turn, we can Reckless Apprentice, King. Uh, they, play, they have Herald. That, oh wow, they have Herald. I don't think we have much of a chance here, do we? Um, if we can live, he hasn't said you might want to make that trade there. Yeah. That was, if we could actually live Mordresh, that wouldn't be too bad. Yep. The the, the brand top deck there actually might have just saved us the game, which is kind of awesome. Uh, makes me pretty happy. But we're going to just... All right. I was going to say, we just didn't want to... Three, five, seven, that's still not... <laughs> not enough. You know what? And we're not actually going to feed into it because, as mentioned, we already now have Mordresh that's active. I mean, at this point, we're, we're probably just going to call this Ping Mage instead, for this game at least. Yeah, okay. I mean, they have ten if they play a couple of spells. Um, two, two, Treant, yep. Sure. That's not enough. It's not lethal, and they don't have more than ten health. 
So we'll just follow up with Mordresh, um, and then... Okay, oh, actually, yeah, I have to kill Brand. I was about to say, I didn't even think of the double, double Mordresh there, but uh, Mordresh, please. Clear the board. Boom, boom, boom. Put them down to, yeah, there we go. As I say, put them down to two health, which means the ping even would have done the job. So I guess not so much a skeleton mage uh, in this first one. Didn't draw, well, didn't play any of my skeleton cards. I did have the cold case in my hand. But, um, you know, if you enjoyed that, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. We're coming a long way, and I can't thank all of you enough. But we're going to go hop into another game. See if maybe we play a bit more <laughs> than skeletons, or if it's... Um just uh, gonna stay as a hero power. We'll see. All right, looks like game number two. We're going against a little demon hunter. We're gonna make this fast. Get rid of arcane intellect here. We have a one, two, and a three, and kind of a four, really, because Frostweave Dungeoneers are just really good to have early on to draw some spells. So mm, even if we draw non-frost spells to get the one ones, of course, just the fact it's a not the best body, of course, um, without a frost spell, but decent. It's it's something. It's three mana draw one, which is only slightly worse than Arcane Intellect, um, but then you also have either the chance of getting the two one ones, uh, which is really nice. Plus it tutors a spell. is also good. Ooh, I was going to say, maybe they were AFK, but they're not. Uh, that's okay. Let's do a quick wildfire in a turn. And uh, we'll play Amplified Snow Flurry on two. As one would expect. I don't know if that was a threat. <gasps> oh no. Okay, um, well, we'll play the two mana Snow Flurry and freeze this. Mainly so that way next turn we can ping it again, potentially. Um, and if we have to, we'll even play the Amplified Snow Flurry for three and use that to ping it. Um, if they kill ours. Ooh, that's no good. Shivering Sorceress. That's two. I think we kind of have to. Amplified Snow Flurry, do the value trade, freeze. Yep. I was going to say, free is our Scorpid. I guess people play the Scorpids. I don't, I've seen a couple of people, I think, recently play Scorpids in Demon Hunter. And is it to possibly discover more relics? Um, that would be kind of where my brain would go. Ooh, they got an eye beam dead. Double Shivering Sorceress. Um, if we draw a Frost spell off of this, yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, and we can play the Sorceress, and then I'll trade into the Scorpid, just to just to keep it going. They'll probably just trade into our 1-1 one, one Freezes, so we don't get to keep them on the board and all that good stuff, but I accept. Now, with Solid Alibi, if we can think of a turn, if we can aim for when uh, uh, when they do something along the lines of a Jace, uh, we can actually Solid Alibi. Hmm. Okay. Um, ba -bum -bum -bum. Frostweave Dungeoneer. And I think... I think we're actually going to Wildfire Coin King one of these. Yep, there we go. There we go. They're going to... So they played both Phantasms already. Which at least means for us that they won't be able to get like massive... Other than their... Uh, Zymog, they won't be able to get massive phantasms uh, in the late game, which can be really good. Those those tend to be really powerful, um, and we're handling it okay. If we could have drawn a Reckless Apprentice that last turn, um, obviously that would have been amazing. Wouldn't mind even still drawing it this turn, you know. I mean, last turn that Bran, our last game that Bran was you know, god tier top deck, so <laughs> I can't. I don't want to, you know, uh, get too far ahead of myself, but. Hmm, cold case. And I'm not really too mad about the poison, so I'm actually going to ping the 3-1. Yeah. I know that's a bit weird, because, uh, you know, technically this could get double trades, but I don't, I don't mind that. And this saves me from them having a good clean trade, uh, and then, or hitting my face for three type of thing. So I'm alright. I think that's good. I think that was a good call on my part. Ooh, excuse me. Sure. Oh, no. That was fast. Yep. Okay, that's, that's not... Oh, there we go, though. There we go. Guess we just Reckless Apprentice. Ping. Yeah. That takes care of the board. <laughs> Although, that's nice. I just realized. Gold Jyleg, eh? Okay, okay. Now, I will say, if we didn't have as good of an opener as we've had with both of the Wildfires and Reckless Apprentice, I think with their opener, 
uh, very aggressive. So we're we're just sorry, Michael T. Hopefully we're not uh, ruining your gameplay experience. That's. <laughs> Maybe we did. Um, they have not responded. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's just big mage bag at it. Now this was a, a another short game. Sorry. So you know what? We'll just skip over it. We'll keep that in because I think it was it was good. And we're gonna go uh, try it a third time, I guess. <laughs> hmm. This time it looks like we're going against a little bit of the hunter. Which it's probably going to be really difficult, um, to be honest, for us, just because uh, the deck is just crazy when it comes to board control. Um, honestly, one of the decks that we're probably going to wish that we had the freezes in it um, for the constant um, keeping their board locked. Uh, so, like, if because if we ping this here, um, then then we're just but you know what? we don't have to actually. And not to, as I say, we ping this, we're just going to give them something stronger. But we can play the two three, um, save the free ping for later because. They're not going to be playing the... Um, we're not going to be spending two mana next turn to ping anyway. Uh, well, kind of... <laughs> I mean, they could have done that to the bat. Let's, let's be fair. They could have just done that to the bat. So we'll be able to play the Nightcloak Sanctum. Freeze. Let's go. Now we're going to be able to start infusing our Frozen Touch, which is just fun to throw face, and then hopefully you get it over and over again. Now, one thing about their deck, other than usually the hero card, they don't have, like, healing. Uh, hit the bat. Nope. Okay. As I was say, they don't have healing, which means that um, this is not good. That is not a good uh, that that we can potentially try to burn them out. Is is uh, with with these. So reckless apprentice. Ping. That'll basically just give them a two one versus uh yeah. But that's alright. I didn't really have anything else. Multicaster. Would not have done anything, as we have not played any actual spells yet. So, this, you know, it, it, it seems weird, but it's all we kind of had at the time. Uh, frozen Touch, maybe, oh my gosh, <laughs> Racking. that's okay. Frozen Touch should now be infused, which is really good. Um, and we'll just freeze the Rat King. Yeah, there we go. And I don't know. They're going to get a weapon. I'm probably going to want to save the individual freeze for something more threatening than a 2 1, would be my guess. So now they coined out the Rat King. Yeah. And hopefully, if it does, it shoots that way. Nice. It's good. And it shouldn't give it the 1. Good. I, th I thought maybe it would be ordering, but in order for that mind to die, the combat would have to be over and then it would shoot. Yeah. So that makes sense. Ooh, wow. Look at you. Hmm. I played Frost, but that's it. But because I don't really have anything else on the go, we might just these are infused right now. We'll probably multicaster just to draw the one. Yeah. And then freeze. Then um, I got we'll just do a little little ping, a little hero power ping. You know, try to get them down to a spot finally, you know, eventually where the Mordresh could do its thing. Uh, still got a long time to go, mind you. Really feel the nerf uh, on these Nightclub Sanctums right now with uh, the one less durability on each. Since we drew both, technically we're going to be losing out on two skeletons and two freezes, uh, which obviously does not feel very good. But that is the point. The deck was, again, uh, the reason we're not playing Blizzards is the freezes are just too annoying to play against, and the damage from skeletons was too much. Um... Yeah, I definitely think it was well needed changes, so I, I'm not gonna, you know, we can't can't argue with with that by any means. So it's just one of those things where I like skeletons, so of course it's a little sad, but uh, I also don't like freezes, so you know, um, and and I guess yeah, that's both of these are infused. So why don't we freeze, frozen touch, frozen touch. Dungeoneer. Try to get us, as I say, another frost. Give us some more minions to let these to let these get infused. And we have a couple of solid alibis as well, so we might just be able to win the long game that way. We shall see. We shall see. Now, I might be getting my hopes up, because they have a full hand. 
<laughs> and they are beast hunter, which means they have the ability to do just about everything. Let us... Yep, Hydralodon. Yep. That's not bad. I mean, it's seven mana. They didn't at least... They can get it cheaper with the harpoon gun, so that's more than fair. And they won't be able to get all the value. That was a good hit, actually. Um, and the Rat King will not come back, so that's fine. Sure. Magister Dawn Grasp, eh? That does evolve my hero power, however... I'm thinking, just double-checking. Yep, they're infused. We just need to go with, go with that, right? And then, uh, hopefully this hits a solid alibi. Mm, shoot. Because I do need, I need to play solid al alibi, but I want to ping, but we cannot. Unfortunately. It's just not in the cards. We still need six more hero power damage, so I don't think we're going to be coming across that anytime soon. Yep. Yeah. Unfortunately as well, these are not going to be infused, because this would actually be 12 damage, right? If we could actually have played these once... Ah, oh, shoot. Never mind. There's, there's their answer. Yep, that's all right. I figured something was coming. Well, we might be able to find our way around this. Don't, don't ever lose hope. I can't think of what. Um, Bard and Dawn Grasp, I guess, technically, would be something that could keep us in here a little. Cold Case does not really do it. Um, if Magister replays the Solid Alibi, you wish to match wits with that might that might be really good. I don't get two of them anyway. Well, we kind of have to play the solid 5, 10. Actually, let me see. 5, 10, 19, 22. Oh, that's a. <laughs> that's exactly the. That's a shame. Okay, well, I guess, yeah. We'll. Um, solid alibi. Improved ice trap. Alright. Well, we'll let them get us here. Interesting how that works. Because, like, technically the uh, other trap. Should have just made it so this woke up normally. It only goes dormant for one turn. Interesting. The dormant uh, replaces itself. I kind of like that. All right. I mean, you had lethal on me anyway. Sinister, so. But we'll let you go. Uh, with that, while he's attacking, I'll just say, you know, this deck works pretty good. Beast Hunter, you can't really compare uh, how this deck works if you're playing against it. Because it's just, it's the dominant force of the meta right now. Which is fine. There always has to be one. Um, every patch, you know, it, it just tends to happen that way. And, uh, yeah. There you go. The deck does work well. You saw in the first few games, um, it, it didn't seem to do well in this last one, but you know, that is what it is. It happens sometimes. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this deck. Should we maybe look for spots for the Deathborns? Do you think those would actually work? Uh, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll give it another go if people want to see it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.